Hello and welcome to my channel On The Hook Crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and today we're talking about what's been on the hook. This is the Saratoga poncho top that I bought on the web and I will put a link down in the description box to it. This is a picture of the model wearing the poncho top. Now if you'll notice, there's a lot of room in here, and I have found that that is the way it fits. It's really big, but it's a poncho, so I kind of get that now. I didn't at first, but this does not fit the same way as the Just Peachy Top that I finished in the purple cotton on denim. So, just so you know that, this is a totally different fit, and I'm going to stand up and model it for you, and then I'll tell you how I made it. This is the front, of course, obviously, and the back. And let me turn around all the way so you can see that. It's sewn right about 10 inches from the bottom, up the back, 10 inches from the bottom on the front, and then on the sides. Now, it's really big on the sides. It doesn't fit like a sweater. It is a really a, a poncho top. It's cute. It just fits on your shoulders, and it's very, very, very casual. And I'm wearing it today with a beige tank top, so it's not a big contrast here. I had had my hand on a dark purple top, but I didn't do that this time. But I'll probably wear it that way if I wear, you know, when I wear it again. I will be wearing it again. But um, if you'll notice, it's really, really pretty. I love the way it looks. And I used the Comfy Cotton, my Lion brand in the whipped cream color and I really like it. It's very lightweight. It's a little tiny bit heavy just because there's so much of it. I used two cakes of the Comfy Cotton and this is what I had left. Hardly anything from the second cake. So if you had two cakes you could probably make this just fine. I don't think you'd have a problem because the, the, the first cake that I used had a little bit taken off of it from another project but it was only a, you know, a few yards. But I think two cakes would probably do it. And if you're a very, very large size, you might buy three cakes and, you know, not so you don't have to keep going back. But I do like it. I, I like the comfy cotton. It's just so comfortable. It's not hot. And it's not so light that it doesn't cover anything. I do like the way this looks and the way it, it drapes. It, it's got a nice drape to it. See how loose it is? It does, it's not stiff, and I really, really like the way it looks. I, I will probably, I might sew a little bit farther up in the front just to keep it from coming off my shoulders because, see, if you let it go much farther, it goes right off your shoulders. <laughs> so I might sew it up about that much front and back, and that would make it stay on me a lot better. It's just not um, staying on me as well as I'd like. I mean, it's okay for now, but... If I was doing anything active, uh, it would probably be falling off my shoulder. So just a little tip, if you plan to make it, um, you may have to sew it up just a little bit more uh, in the front and or the back so it will stay on you better. Um, I think this would look really cute with a turtleneck in the wintertime. I just, um, I have that feeling that even then the turtleneck will help it stay on your shoulders too, but I still recommend sewing it a little farther up the front than it recommends in the in the pattern. Now this called for 1225 yards of um, sport weight yarn using a G hook. I never do that kind of thing. I used a, a sport weight comfy cotton. This is still in the plastic. But I, I, I used a, a number three comfy cotton which is a kind of a sportish sport weight but I used a J hook to make the sweater. So when I was looking at the schematic, which has the measurements on it, it says that my size is 43 by 14. 14 inches across here, 43 inches from the front waist to the back waist. And I did that by chaining up 43, about 44 inches, I guess. And I used a K hook one size bigger than the one I used for the fabric of the sweater. And that way, when I did a row or two, then I could see that it was going to measure 43 inches, and that's what I was after. I wanted to make it right by the pattern so that I could tell my 
viewers and subscribers what to expect if you decide to make this Saratoga poncho top. And I, you know, overall really like it. It's not hard to make. And it's very interesting because there are two separate types of stitches being used here. I have numbers on here. This was going to be 14 inches. And after I made this section, I made this section um, 8 inches wide. And I made this section 6 inches wide. Can you see that? 8 inches from here to here, 6 inches from here to here. So it, it, I didn't want to make another 2 inches here or make this shorter and make this longer. There was just something about this particular stitch right here, this one, that I liked. And this is just for decoration. So I didn't use as much of this as I did that. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. The total measurement is 14 from the neck to the arm. And I used uh, 6 inches here and then 8 inches there. All you have to do is make two rectangles, just like we did for the Just Peachy Top. Um, it's made exactly the same way. Two rectangles, sew it up in the front and back, sew it up on the sides, and you're done. And I didn't block this. I didn't feel like it needed to be blocked. Um, comfy cotton seems to um, have a nice appearance even when it's not blocked. So I did not block this, this top. Again, though, I would probably sew it up a little bit farther. And I may do that after I finish this video. <laughs> I might sew it up a little bit more. Just so it doesn't feel kind of loose on my shoulders. But you might like it just in the, in, in the size that you make it. I don't know. But... Uh, I think those were the only changes I made. I ended up chaining 142 uh, instead of 175 chains. But they're also using a G hook and I was using a J hook. So that's the difference there. It was, you know, right about that much difference using one hook compared to another. So um, I think that's all that I did that was different. So I hope you like it. I'll put a link to the pattern down in the description box and also to uh, a place where you can get the Comfy Cotton Blend um, yarn from Lion Brand. I just really love this color. It's a soft white. It's not yellowy and it's just very pleasant to look at and I really like it. I really do. Um, I have one more cake left of it and I don't know what I'm going to do with that but um, I also bought some more Comfy Cotton to make a shawl out of. And so I'll be doing that as well, but it's a variegated color. Uh, they only have three, as far as I know, solid colors. They have a blue, they have a red, and they have a white, a whipped cream color. The rest of the colors are a mixture of different beautiful colors together, but um, I, I just wanted this just as it was shown in the pattern. So um, there you have it. I hope you like it. Uh, if you decide to make it, send me a picture of it, especially if you use a different color. I would love to see it done in uh, red, and I toyed with the idea of buying the red and doing it in red, and then I could wear it at Christmas time with a black turtleneck uh, and stay warm. So just wanted to throw that out there. I don't know if I'll do that or not. It depends on what color red it is, but um, I love red and black at Christmas time. I think those are beautiful colors together, and um, I used to have a whole wardrobe of it when I worked in the corporate world. I had lots of black and red, but I've softened up quite a bit since I retired from my corporate job and work at home, so I'm, uh, I'm softened up quite a bit, and I don't wear quite as much red and black, but I do like those two colors together. I'm also working on a couple of other projects, and I, I wanted to show you all one more pattern that I found on the web. It was on Sorella's website. Sorry about all that noise. <laughs> but this is, and, and I paid for this uh, pattern, so I'm going to fold it over. It's called the Cabana Top, and it is actually made in this exact yarn. It's made in the whipped cream, um, comfy cotton. She's discovered it too. <laughs> Although she made the uh, she made the Johnny Topper in a variegated color, and I made it in this color. So she's making this in the whipped cream color. And I thought I might do that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really cute. And it's made with the sleeves that are chained out over here and then, some, you know, moved back and forth. Looks like a very, very, very simple pattern. So I went out and I bought it to support 
so real because I do love her patterns quite a bit and um, it looks like it's going to be fairly easy. So um, I'm going to be probably, I might be starting that pretty soon. I've got several whips in progress that I probably need to finish including my Busy Bee Top that I have not been diligent about working on because it's just, um, it's slow going because it's made out of the uh, Premier Cotton uh, very tiny yarn, this Premier Cotton, but I really like it, and I've worked on it a little bit. I've got, you know, quite a bit of the back finished, and uh, once you do the back and the front, you're basically done. It's just um, getting through making the fabric, but I kind of like that. I think that's cute. It turned out, um, in a colorway, you can see it better from a distance. See how that does? It's almost got a pattern here and a pattern here and a pattern here just because of the way I am crocheting it. It just happened to happen to be that way. But I'm really liking it. I've been working on it a little bit more, but there for a while I wasn't very diligent. And so I'm going to have to discipline myself and get that taken care of. And I've got the um, granny square top that I started working on in this color. You remember that? I talked about that and I haven't done anything on it because I thought I had lost the yarn. Silly, silly me. I have so many projects over here. I couldn't find the other three balls of this yarn. And I thought, well, I'm not going to work on that because then I have to order more yarn and maybe I'll just change the color or something. And then I found it. So <laughs> there are no excuses now. I have to finish that. And I want to finish some of those things this week. So um, I wanted to get on here and show you this in case you might want to try it. It's really kind of fun. It's not hard to make at all. And um, if, if you make it out of the comfy cotton, you'll really like it because it's just so comfortable and so soft and great for summer. And you know, it'll be nice for fall. If even if you made it into in a fall color, um, like the driftwood or one of those other colors, you might really like it because you could wear it with black or brown or red or any other color like that or beige and it would look really, really nice. So um, I, I also have a couple of acquisitions in Hold On okay, I'm back, and I wanted to show you these three yarns that I received from Love Knitting. I ordered, I'm sorry, I ordered these from Joanne, and it's the Cotton Fair Premier Cotton, and I ordered this color, which is called Coco. I really like this. It's beautiful color. It's very understated, very nice. I might combine that with black in some way, I don't know. And then I got this color, which is called Plum. Very rich. It's a very rich color. And I really like that. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I like purple, I guess. And then I have bought the Lavender, which is also very beautiful. Um, a little bit less intense than this one. And also a totally different hue, but they're both in the purple family, I guess. But I really like this. This is so soft and so pretty. I really like that as well. And then I ordered some black, too, so that I could use it as a contrasting color. Uh, I thought about maybe making a sweater out of it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, we're going to be drawing to the end of summer soon, and I will have to start my winter crocheting for Christmas gifts and for other things. And I don't know if I'll have time to make something out of all three of these yarns before I stop crocheting for summertime. But I will see what happens and hopefully I can um, make something out of them. I don't know, maybe even a shawl or a shawlette or something like that. We'll see. But I just wanted to hop on here and show you my acquisitions. My new sweater. I hope you try it at home. It's very, very nice and talk about a couple of works in progress. So I will see you soon and join me next time to find out what's on the hook.